This is my house. Well, technically my mother's. Uh, she doesn't need it anymore. This is my mom. So, uh, last year on my birthday, I came down and she was making me pancakes and I came around the corner. Um, this happened. So, so sad. It, it has been a bit hard being on my own. You know, getting food and all that. Uh, the necessities. And how does that make you feel? Sad, I guess. Oh, but it's not all bad. I mean, I can still get around on my own. You know, I just have to be careful, like always. I mean, I, I've been alone for most of my life. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time connecting with people, you know? Maybe I need a friend. Hey, my name is Anthony and I'm... I'm Marjorie's new roommate. Anthony's great. He's just the best. My last roommate... It didn't go so well. Have you noticed anything unusual about Marjorie? Unusual? Marge? What's in the closet? Uh, that's just my last figure! Wow. How realistic. No. Are you gonna tell Anthony about your condition? Ah! Oh, damn it, we lost Jim. I think you just gotta put yourself out there. Go out and meet some new people, you know? I don't know. I don't have money for going out and that type of stuff. Isn't your mom supporting you? We're not on speaking terms. You just need to get a job. I mean, look at me. I've been in crossing guard for 15 years. I don't know if I can. When are you gonna start living a normal life? Are you gonna be a loser forever? And can we stop hanging around all these damn wax people? Hi, you're 11.30 canceled. So what's your story? Oh, I'm a bookworm, I guess. I'm really by myself all the time. <laughs> that doesn't sound like much fun. I mean, I love meeting new people. Uh, watching people, following people. So what made you try speed dating? My mom, she's like, get out of the basement, Brad. I've been here 35 years. She's great. I love my mom. Is, is everything okay? I, I just have a thing with eye contact. I don't understand how you can expect to have a meaningful connection with someone without Peering into the windows of their soul. Hey, Mars. Oh, oh. Oh, hi. Got uh, got more of those uh, TPS reports. Oh, sounds great. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, if I have to do another one of these, I'm gonna rip my eyes out. Uh, uh, did you need anything else? Um, uh, are you are you doing anything later tonight? Why? We could, uh, go on a date or something. So, uh, I've been dating Percy now for about, uh, three weeks. Um, he's sweet. He doesn't know about the, uh, eyes yet. I don't know if I should tell him. I hear you, but I think if you're hiding something from Percy, you should probably tell him. I'm just afraid if he knew. He wouldn't like me anymore. But don't you want him to actually like you for you? I mean, if you want a normal relationship, you have to be honest. Percy? Yes. Uh, um, I, I need to tell you something. Yeah, sure, anything. Um, have you ever noticed that I don't make eye contact Ever? Um, I guess I never noticed. Well, it's because um, 
when I look at people, I paralyze them. Because of your beauty. No, no. I literally, physically paralyze them. Because you hit them on the head. Of course you know. It's something inside of me. Um, it's hard to explain. It's like a condition. You lost me. Percy! What do you think happened to these people? Oh. I just thought it was some weird sex thing. No, Percy. It was me. With my eyes. Wow. That's crazy. So? Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna bounce. What? Yeah, I mean, this isn't really what I'm looking for, you know? Um, and my ex is back in town. And I think I might just get back together with her, you know? And, um, probably best to just call it quits while we're ahead here. Um, nothing against you and... And your sex thing, whatever you do with these people. Yeah, that didn't go as planned. I guess I can't have a normal life, but I'm okay with that. Because I'm not normal. I'm me. And I can be happy being me. And in the end, that's what really matters. So are we done? Oh, yeah, that's